Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for returning as I always say for my returning subscribers. Welcome on back to the channel. Always glad to see you, glad to have you. And if this just happens to be your first time stumbling on one of my videos, hello and welcome to the channel. Here on this channel, I deal with all things budgeting and I focus on cash envelope stuffing, savings, and getting out of debt. So if that is something that you're interested in and you would like to see my journey and join this family to get some motivation to get going for you, do not hesitate to go down below, hit that subscribe button, and join the family. Today's video is always my favorite day, but today in particular, I am just so excited to get this done. We are going to be budgeting out my second paycheck for the month of September when it comes to my full-time job. So we're working right here with um, September 25th. We're going to budget out that paycheck and then stuff some cash envelopes and then get our final count for our debt snowball for the end of September. And that is the exciting part because this is going to be the most amount of money that I have been able to achieve to set aside for debt snowball since starting my debt free journey and I never thought it would be possible for me to save this much amount of money so that is why I'm excited so let us just go ahead get started budget out this paycheck and then get to the cash envelope stuffing all right guys so here we are back at paycheck number two breakdown paper that I use when I budget out my paycheck I already wrote the date and I wrote down all of the things that we will be working with and now we just go ahead and put in the amounts. First thing that I am saving up for when it comes to expenses will be my rent for October 1st. This is the second half of the rent. I like to split my rent between both paychecks. So from this paycheck, we are going to put away $635 and then that will be fully funded for October. Moving on next is my PSC&G, which is just gas and electric. I did get the bill for that and I pay that on the first as well. And for this month, it is going to be $48 that I will do for that. After that are my subscriptions. So Netflix and Hulu, those are both $6. So that is what I will put there. And then when it comes to Apple Music, that is $10 that I'm doing for that. And then gas for my car. Since I go to Costco, I just keep my gas on my debit card. And that will be $30 for the next two weeks. So everything in this expense column, I do not take phys physical cash out for. I keep this in the bank. So when we add all this up for a total, that is $735 for that. Now we're moving on to the cash portion. First up is my car payment, and this is the second half for my debt snowball. So today, that will be $42 that we're going to add for the second half. Next is Great Lakes for my student loan. The second half for that will be $131 that we will put away. And then after that, I just handle all of the things that I keep in my wallet. So first is spending, that is getting 30. Groceries is getting 100. Toiletries will be getting 25. And clothing is going to get 20. So when we add up all of the cash portion, that is $348 for that. Now looking over here at my sinking funds, if you do not know, I do um, have other videos regarding cash envelope stuffing and that's for my side income. And for my side income, I do Uber Eats and that is where I focus my sinking funds and applying money into those. So whenever I am fortunate enough to get some money from that side income, that is where I stuff my, si my sinking funds. So that is why they are empty because they have already been stuffed. So now we move on to car payment. And this is for my extra debt and this is the part that I am like so excited about. I double and triple check to make sure that my budget was not wrong, that I'm actually able to put this much amount of money away. It's really just a big deal for me, probably for others. It's like, okay girl, like whatever, but 
Me, I am doing this by myself, single income, and I never imagined that I would be able to put money away for extra debt. So this is just a big deal to me and I'm just proud and happy that I'm able to do it. So with that, for our car payment from this paycheck, we are able to put away $473. So moving on after that, we do have savings and I do always take savings out from this paycheck before I even budget it out. So that's why it will be blank. And then I also like to keep a rollover or a buffer within my account of $5 from every paycheck and then that just grows a little bit each time. But to get the total that we will be withdrawing from the bank, we add this cash plus this car payment for extra debt and that is a total of $821 that I will be taking away from the bank. So. Next, I just go to the bank, get the cash, and then when I get back, we can get started with stuffing these envelopes. All right, guys, so I am back from what feels like my second home, which is the bank, and I have all of the money. So now we're just going to lay this out and get it organized. All right, now that we are all set up and laid out, let's go ahead and get into it. Down here, I keep all of the things that I keep in my wallet 24 seven for my cash dividers. In here are my cash envelopes, which I split my um, bills with. And then in the binder, I have my sinking funds. So we always start off with the cash envelopes. So that is what we are going to do today. So first up is car payment. Car payment will be getting $42 for the second half of the debt snowball. And it is empty because I did make the initial payment for my car payment. And then this is just the extra that I put for the debt snowball. So 20, 40, 41, and 42. So we can go ahead and add that right in here for a car payment. And that is set. Car insurance, we did fully fund this for the month with the first paycheck, so there is no need to add money for this one because we can handle that next month. Great Lakes for the second half, it is getting $131. So we will do that. And we have 120, 30, 31. And then with the second half, that should complete the minimum payment for this. Every month I pay one, no, $263 for um, Great Lakes. So that's what we should have here. We have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. $263 set and ready to go for this payment. And those are my three main bills that I split up. So we are all set with that. Next, we move on to the cash dividers that I keep in my wallet. First up is spending. Spending, I have one lonely dollar left in it. I went on Amazon and I bought some stuff. So you know how that goes. But today it will be getting $30. So for a total, we now have 20, 30, and 31 dollars so that is good for that moving on next is groceries groceries is getting one hundred dollars and i do that in 20s so we have 20 40 60 80 100 dollars and when we add what we have left within groceries now we have a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 106, 107. So now I have 107 for groceries to get me through the next two weeks, and that should be good. Toiletries, we are adding $25. And toiletries only has, I think, like $2 left because last time when um, my mom and I went to the grocery store, we came across some gems 
we found actual Lysol and we found some disinfecting wipes and we were running low because we just could not find any so you know we had to buy that and I feel like the markup on those prices for those items right now is crazy but that is why toiletries didn't have any money so now I have 20 25 26 27 dollars within toiletries so I can pick up a few things with that clothing is next and that is getting twenty dollars and we do have a little bit of money left so now we have 20 21 22 23 24 25 dollars within clothing that I can use on that here I have eating out and this is going to be empty I am NOT adding anything for that and then miscellaneous I just use this when I need to deposit some money back into the ATM when I use my cash so that is it for all of my dividers and then I just go ahead and put them right inside my wallet and they fit in so nicely like that and then spend them when they need to be spent so moving on now to the exciting parts I don't have any sinking funds to stuff but I also keep my debt snowball in here so if we scroll to the back for that so for this paycheck we know we're supposed to have four hundred and seventy three dollars so let us just count and make sure that that is what we have so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 465, 470, 71, 72, 73. So that is true. We do have $473. And since this is my last um, paycheck for the month, I will be making my debt snowball payment this weekend. So that means we can go ahead and take out all of the money that we saved up for the month and add this to the total and get a count to see what we were able to contribute this month for a debt snowball payment so excited if you can not tell so let me just organize it where it needs to be and also since my um debt payment um my debt snowball is my car payment anything in here also gets added to that so we will add that as well and now we will get a grand total to see what we were able to save so we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 750 777 90 8 10 8 30 8 50 8 60 8 70 8, 80, 85, um, 90, 95, 895, so 96, 97, 98, 99, 900. Whew, that was a struggle to count, but wow, we have $900, guys, that I am putting towards my debt snowball for my car payment. That is freaking amazing. I never would have thought that I can do one payment. And this is all going to the principal. So this is going to bring the balance down so nicely. And I am just so excited about that. So that is what we were able to achieve this month. All of our money is gone and that is that. So just to wrap up the video, you know I always have to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you found some motivation and you really learned something when you watch my videos. If you did, don't forget to leave some comments down below and like to support the channel because it really does help. And if you enjoy what I do, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, join the family, hit the bell notification so you never miss another video of mine. And with that being said, I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye, guys.